Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. My name is Kinsey. If you did not know that, then now you know and you guys today I'm going to be doing a comparison video between the Coach Pillow Tappy Bag in the 26 size and the Sommod Luna Bag. If this is your first time ever seeing me, then hello, I'm so happy to have you. My name is Kinsey. I make a lot of videos about luxury handbags, luxury fashion, travel, jewelry, but mostly handbags. I like those a lot, but if any of that sounds fun to you, if you like the idea, then I would ask you to consider clicking the subscribe button and give this video a like and ding the little bell down there so you're notified every time I upload. And you guys, without any further ado, let's get on into the video. So I have had my Coach Pillow Tabby bag for quite a while now. The Song Ma Luna bag is relatively new to my collection, but I thought these two were kind of comparable. So I wanted to do a comparison between the two and like show you like price differences, what you can fit in this one compared to this one, just like style differences and versatility. So let's just get started. We'll start off with the pillow, the coach pillow tabby bag. Let's just first start off with appearances because I know some people say that appearances don't matter, but I personally think they do a lot. <laughs> so here is what this bag looks like. As you can see, I do have it in the black with the, it's not gold hardware, it's like brassy kind of hardware, which is still pretty and there's nothing on the back again this is the 26 size so it's not the 18 size uh, it is the bigger one it does come with this classic coach dog tag it does come with a shoulder strap right here that is detachable to where you could use this as a clutch if you wanted to do that and then it opens with a button closure right here and you have two, technically three compartments in this bag. It does come with its own crossbody strap. It's kind of like a belt strap, if you will. So you've got like one, two, three, four, five, six different holes to put it in. And it has these, what are these called? Alligator clasps. Um, to hook it on to so that is very nice and it is a relatively thick strap It's not like super thin so it's got like a nice weight to it And then on the inside you have technically three compartments you have this back one right here You do have this zip pocket in the middle for you to put stuff in and then you do have a front pocket right here so that is the appearance of the coach tabby bag moving on to the Luna bag when it comes to appearance so here is what the bag usually looks like just in its regular i guess relaxed state not relaxed but you know what i mean so this is just what it looks like it is a kind of crescent half moon shape and it does have this shoulder strap right here now the really cool thing about the song mount luna bag is that it is like super 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 versatile it's like these shoulder straps can come off and i showed this on my tiktok and a lot of people were concerned like about thieves and they were like well if the strap comes off then can thieves just like take it from you I, no i probably wouldn't think so because number one it does take a little bit of force to get these off and number two the thief would just have to happen to know that it's the song mont luna bag that you're carrying and they would just have to also know that the straps come off so i don't think you're gonna have any kind of issue with like someone taking the straps off your bag the shoulder strap way was one way to wear it and here is another way to wear it you can fold it inwards just like that and then it becomes this adorable little dumpling bag so cute kind of reminds me of the mini jody and then third way you can wear this bag if you have it like this you can take the shoulder strap and put it underneath here and then close it this way so this can be a top handle just like this you can wear this on your shoulder very very cute way to wear it and then the fourth way to wear this bag is crossbody it does come with a separate crossbody strap that i don't have with me right now so definitely a very very versatile bag and then let me go over the rest of it so here is the front it just has songmont on the bottom and then here is the back nothing on the back no other logos on the front it does have this like lock mechanism which i don't think it actually does anything i think it's just there for aesthetic purposes and then you open this one like this and like a little magnetic closure and then you open up like this and it has a beautiful green interior and that is pretty much oh it does have one not a zip pocket but it does have kind of like one little slip pocket back there as well so that's pretty much the appearance and versatility of both bags let's go into pricing so when it comes to pricing on the coach pillow tabby bag this bag usually retails for around 
$550, that's what it retails for on the Coach website, unless something changed. I don't think anything has changed. And yeah, $550 on the Coach website. Now, I probably would not recommend buying this directly from Coach, unless you want to. If you want to, then great. But Coach itself doesn't usually have a lot of sales unless you go to like Coach Outlet. And I'm not sure if the Coach Outlet is going to have like the specific kind of pillow tabby bag that you wanna get. If you're looking for a good sale, I'd recommend looking at like Zappos or Nordstrom or even like Amazon. Amazon, stuff like that. They typically have some good sales. And I got this bag for the same price as the 18 size. So I got this bag for like 300 bucks from Zappos when I ordered it because they were having like a big sale. So it was like really nice. That's the pricing on this bag. And it is, let me go over what kind of leather it is as well, because it is a full leather bag, which is very nice. It is Napa leather. The detachable short strap has a seven and a quarter inch drop. And then the long strap, crossbody strap is a 21 and a half inch drop. And then the actual dimensions for this bag here is 10 and a half inches long. It is three and three fourths inches high and it is three inches wide. The Coach Tabby Bag comes in this color and like a cream color that's really, really beautiful as well. And then it might come in other like seasonal colors. I know the 18 size comes in a ton of colors. Um, I'm not sure if the 26 size also does, but I know it comes in that cream color. Um, moving on to the Songmont Luna Bag, I literally just noticed that this bag had a price increase. I had no idea. So when I bought this bag, it was $300. This bag has had like a $50 price increase. It is now $349. This one comes in this black. It comes in like this beautiful mint color that's so, so pretty. It comes in an amber color. And it also comes in like a yellow color as well, but that one's like always sold out on their website. They're not even showing it anymore. The leather is milled fine calf leather, and then it has a microfiber leather in the interior. The weight, the weight, not weight, the width of this bag is 10.43 inches. The height is 9.06 inches, and then the depth is 3.94 inches. Oh, and that's when it's like this. Like that's just the body of the bag. That's not when it's put into any kind of shape. If it's put into like that cute dumpling shape, then it's gonna be smaller, obviously. The shoulder strap, just this one right here, has a strap drop of 32 inches, which is insane. So now let's get into like the style, the vibe of the bags, if you will. I personally think that both of these can be used, well, actually, let me, okay, let me talk about it. This one I do feel like is a bit more on the casual side. Now, like I said, you can remove these, like the shoulder strap here, and you can technically wear this as a clutch. I do think it might be a little too big to wear as like a clutch. If you were, if you were gonna do that, then I would get the 18 size, but I'm not 100% sure if the strap comes off on the 18 size. It might be like fixed to it. Uh, oh no, it does come off. It does come off. So if you were wanting to use the Coach Pillow Tabby as a clutch, then I would definitely probably get the 18 size just because it's smaller, it's cuter, and it's more dainty. But you can. You can wear this underneath your armpit like this. You can kind of carry it in your hand like this if you wanted to. So there are plenty of ways you could wear this bag if you wanted to do that. But for me personally, it is more on the lines of like a casual bag, not not really an evening bag. You definitely can if you want to, but just to me, it looks to be a little more casual. Whereas this one can be dressed up or down, in my opinion. So when it's like this, the shoulder strap, I do think that you could probably wear it more on the casual side, but also leaning towards a more fancy situation. But when it's crossbody, I do think it's definitely more giving like a casual vibe. When you take off the straps here and put this one into its little dumpling shape, this is absolutely an evening bag if I've ever seen it. One million percent an evening bag, so cute. Again, this can be worn during the day as well, of course, but this, it literally gives you an evening bag. It's so versatile, I love this bag, it's amazing. So if you are somebody that wants to only carry one handbag, like if you're not fussing with like a collection, if you couldn't care less, and if you're just wanting to get one bag that can fit 
nearly any occasion, any purpose, then I would definitely go with the Song Mount Luna bag. So I do think that this one is absolutely more, I guess, versatile and it's, you can wear it in more ways. It can be worn with more styles in my opinion. Not to say this one is like a better option. I do think that they're both really, really comparable. They're both great bags, but it just depends on what your lifestyle is more like. I really just feel like at this point, it just comes down to personal preference. Like which one do you like the most? Like are you a coach person or are you a Songmont person? I think at this point, they're both very, very comparable and they're both relatively the same, except for this one having a few more ways you can wear it. It really just comes down to preference. Like which one do you prefer? Do you like the look of the coach more? Do you like the look of the Songmont more? Technically the coach bag is more expensive. However, you can find a good sale. Like it's not hard to find a sale on the coach bag and you can get it for around the same price as this one. And then let's go into what can fit in each bag. Now I do have dedicated unboxing videos for each of these bags, which I do go into detail as to what can fit in the bag. Now I'm not gonna do like a full on what's in my bag and show you what all fits into each bag because I, I will just direct you to those corresponding videos. But I will tell you that this bag here fits more than this bag. I have tested both of these out extensively to see what the deal is. This bag is very, very pliable. It's very moldy. You can fit pretty much anything you want into this bag. I wish it did not have this middle compartment. Like I just really wish it did not have this. It would be literally perfect if it didn't have this stupid middle compartment. But still, this bag fits leaps and bounds more than the Songmon bag only because the song mom bag is that like crescent shape so you can really only fit items in the front part of the bag like from here like the back wall to the front wall you can't really fit things on the sides of the bag unless they're like really small and you do have to be kind of wary when it comes to the shape of your items that you're putting in the song mom bag because of its shape if you put something that's like oblong or kind of like an awkward shape it will be difficult to fit in this bag it is a bit more finicky you do have to kind of narrow down your items and this is not a mini bag this is not even considered to be a small bag this is considered to be like a medium-sized bag and i don't feel like it fits as many things as I would like for it to be like a medium-sized bag. My Marc Jacobs bag that I have is considered a mini Marc Jacobs and it fits twice as many things that would fit in here. I just feel like you're gonna have a better time fitting stuff in here because this one will fit a water bottle. This one will fit a small water bottle, not like a super big one, but this one can fit like a full-sized, you know, Evian water bottle at the bottom here or something it can fit your phone it can fit your airpods it can actually you can pretty much stuff this bag and it wouldn't look weird because it is such a pliable moldable type of leather so when it comes to that i would definitely go with this bag over the song mount luna bag just if you are somebody that carries a lot more with you one complaint that i do have about this bag that when you're carrying it in the dumpling shape it's really hard to get into so it opens up pretty wide this way but not this way so when you are opening it up, it is harder to get your hand inside to get your items out. So if I were to wear this for a night out, I would probably just undo it and like get my stuff out and then put it back. But that's just me. And I know a lot of people are not gonna want to deal with that. A lot of people are not gonna wanna fuss with that. And I totally understand. So if you are somebody that wants a bag that has a large capacity, that is pretty iconic. I mean, I have to say the, the tabby bags from Coach are pretty iconic. It's like their best selling bag. I think both of these are an amazing bag. And genuinely, I do think that you would be happy with either one of these bags. And at this point, it's just personal preference. But you guys, that has been my comparison of my Coach Pillow Tabby bag in the 26 size and the Song Mont Luna bag in black. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments which of these bags would you personally go for, which is your favorite. Leave me a comment down below just telling me anything because I'm nosy and I wanna know that. But guys, thank you again for watching this video. I really hope that you did enjoy it. If you did, then go ahead and click up the like button for me and then subscribe if you want to and be sure to ding little bell down there so you're notified every time I upload. And you guys, I'll see you in the next video. Bye!